row here. I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks, so um, I came up with this really quick, um, easy style last night because um, it was getting into the second day of my twist style and it was kind of, I don't know, it was getting flat on me, so I just decided to kind of put my back up in a way. I didn't want to pin it all the way up because I don't want to keep putting tension on my hair with a, a headband or just constantly pinning it up because um, I just feel like I just don't want to keep putting tension on my hair in that way so I just figured out a way to just kind of braid it to the side to the to have a side swoop you can easily do this style by pinning it up or even using a headband to pin it this way but I just don't like putting that much stress and tension on my hair especially because I have to pull it back every day for work but I'm currently on leave from work because I'm taking my advanced course with school during the day so I've been able to kind of play with my hair a little bit and get to know more of my natural hair and wear it out I don't have to pull it back into a bun every day so I'm free of buns for the next week and a half but um so I decided on this style last night. Um, I figured I'd do it the night before and take it down because I actually re-wet my hair. And I braided it, twisted it, and slept, let it dry. I didn't wet my hair like soaking wet. I just wet enough to damp it and put one product through and twist my hair. So when I come up with styles for my hair, I'm not all about the whole smoothness and I need to make it smooth, I need to make it as sleek as I can. I don't really do sleek styles. I feel like natural hair is kinky and curly in itself and you just need to let it be. Like I don't worry about frizz and stuff like that and I don't worry about if my flat twist is perfect and not frizzy or if my braid is super defined and you can see it. I just kind of let my hair do its own thing. I kind of like the messy and a rush look sometimes. It works out for the better and I feel like this style did kind of work out for the better for me. I mean, I didn't really detangle my hair. I just kind of moisturized it and braided it how it was. I didn't feel like detangling it and making it um, easier for me to braid it. I just kind of let it do its own thing and sometimes you can come out with good hairstyles and I think that's what this hairstyle turned out to be a good one you know without all the def the, the defining and the detangling and all that other great stuff that us naturals tend to do when we you know come up with our hairstyles but this was really spontaneous I came I thought of it really quick and I said okay well I'm learning my natural hair as long as well as you all are so I'm learning as I go with you so I figured I thought this up and I will record it for you all so if you want to see how I did this I don't even know what to call this style just kind of like the side the side swoop up do you know? if you want to see how I achieve this side swoop up do style then stay tuned I am actually starting out on day three hair as you can see my hair was kind of getting flat and a little frizzy but it's still soft and it's still bouncy I'm going to start by parting my hair. I'm going to use my finger to part my hair. I don't really care about having super defined parts. You can use maybe like a rat tail comb or a comb. You can get your part straighter. But I'm just going to go and section off my top half, which I'm going to have as my bang, and then my bottom half, which I'm going to braid in the back to the side. separated and clipped away I'll take a water bottle that just only has water in it just to dampen my hair be careful not to get it soaking wet it'll take longer for it to dry once I apply the water I will apply coconut oil making sure to apply it to my ends and then I'll add a leave-in conditioner to help with moisturizing my hair a little bit more and after my leave-in I will apply the curling cream
once that half of my hair is moisturized, I will separate that into two sections and I'll start to braid the bottom half. I'm not too particular on defining the braid, especially because I did not detangle. I'm just braiding to secure my hair at the bottom to put it up in a way. Once I'm done with the braid at the end, I will two strand twist so it can better blend in with my bang area that I will two strand twist. Once I'm done with the braid, I will also take two bobby pins to secure so when I untwist my hair, the braid will not unravel. Time to focus on the bang section. I will wet down my hair as I did the back half, going in with water, then oil, then my leave-in cream, and then also my curling cream. But I'll apply the oil and the leave-in cream at one time, and then I'll apply the curling cream to each section by section that I two strand twist. Making sure that when I two strand twist, I twist my hair with my twist going forward and to the side. You always want to make sure that you twist your hair and the way that you want your hair to set and to lay. So right now my hair is wet and I'm moisturizing it. So it looks a little frizzy, but once you sleep on it overnight and you let it dry and you use your satin scarf or bonnet to smooth the hair down, it'll look more defined once you undo your hair in the morning. all twisted up and braided you see that the twists are all going forwards and to the side so tomorrow when I take it down that's how my hair will lay I'll apply coconut oil to my hands and make sure that my hands stay saturated with the coconut oil as I take my twist down I'll separate the twist into two halves and then I'll go back in those twists and I will fluff them out as I normally do when I take down my twists. I don't have my pink candy so I'll do all my fluffing with my fingers making sure that my hands stay with coconut oil on them so I moisturize my twists as I go paying close attention to the ends of my hair.
have your quick and easy updo for my naturals on the go just like me. I hope this tutorial was easy for you all to follow. All you have to do is retwist your bangs at night, apply that scarf or bonnet and sleep. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials like this, thumbs up this video. And until my next video, bye.